Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new design tutorials. Today I'll show you the loop types of logo. So how to do that? Let's see. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first go to the file and new. And after that take an artboard which is a 2560 and 1440. Give the name. And hit the create button. You'll get an artboard and after that go to the ellipse tool make a circle which is like 300 pixel and 300 pixel and hit ok and after that again go to the rectangle tool make a square shape that is also 300 pixel and 300 pixel so here and hit the ok button and after that select these two things make fill color turn off and stroke thickness that is 1 pt and make them in the middle of the artboard make sure that here align to artboard is on and like that so make it zoom and press ctrl or command y let's see the things which is like a join in one line otherwise it will be bothering you to cut off from others so that's good and after that select these two things go to the main mode controller command g make it group and then press the shift button and hold it and rotate this one after that press the alter option button and make a copy by pressing like alter option and dragging it before that you have to check out here in a view panel snap to pixel is off so here that's good and after that controller command y again and make sure that these two things just join in one path otherwise it will hamper you or it will bother you to cut off so make it zoom and just join with each other that's good and after that select these two things and make another copy and join in the same way let's see the portion which is joined with each other make it zoom and just join with each other that's good and in this portion you have to share the path is joined with each other okay that's fine and now select all the things make in the middle of the artboard that's good and after that i'll take a line tool or line segment tool by pressing slash and here i'll draw like this and i'll draw like this or you can just make copy by pressing alter option this one and paste it over here this portion you have to make sure this is just joined properly otherwise it will just hamper you to cut off from this so that's good okay fine let's make the stroke thickness into like uh, 20 that's good go to the normal mode and make it 100 percent that's good you make the stroke alignment in the middle that's good and after that select all the things and go to the object and expand this one and fill it up after that shift m for the shape builders tool and press alter options to delete those things those things those things so this portion and now join with the shift key and join it out so this portion we just missed out to make this one in a proper alignment that's why it's just extra so don't worry we'll take care about it later and after that press the alter option button delete those portion at first okay fine and those portion as well that's good here this portion now we can make it like 
join with each other so that's fine you can make it like all the thing you join like that that's good and we'll make it separate so we won't join this one take another line tool by pressing slash and controller command y and just make it like this select these two things shift m and minus that things v from the keyboard and delete this line so from here that's good okay fine now we'll make the gradient so go to the gradient tool if you want to get this one in this portion go to the window from here gradient you will get that so from here we'll fill up with that customize that things by pressing here that means this color uh, that's good and the pink color in other pool that's good g from the keyboard and you can make it like that v and i from here and g and set it up like that and now i'll give the shadow like this this type of shadow how to make that shadow so p from the keyboard and this point this point make a rectangle in this portion okay fine v from the keyboard and go to this portion and make the gradient like this and here i'll make the darker one and like this and after that g from the keyboard just make it neutralize like that from here the transparency select that things and make it multiply and from here we'll reduce the transparency that's good and after that we'll make copy by pressing alter option and rotate this one and we'll just place it in which place we want to make shadow like this portion and this portion as well so in this case we'll use here another things which is so after that just we'll cut it out how to cut so we'll make two copies of the cut so one like that so control here at first control c control f and after that line tool and take this like so select the first one that means the upper side one and go to the pathfinder and divide that things and group and this portion i will delete and i from the keyboard color picker and now set the gradient g from the keyboard and so when you are setting the gradient be careful okay v and g from the keyboard okay it is making sense so it's making more sense that's fine select all the things make it group make it smaller or bigger whatever you want make in the middle of the artboard okay that's good so our logo is ready that's all for today hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on our video comment section until the next video i may say i'm sending out today bye bye